Hi Capricorns! Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages that you have for Capricorn regarding their love life? What are the messages you have for Capricorns regarding their love life? Right, Capricorns. All right. Well, coming from your recent past, you've been in your shell. Uh, you've gone through a, a, a small period of, of solitude and deep thought regarding a situation, regarding your love life. And uh, it could just be something very small and temporary, but you do tend to <clears throat> pull away a little bit. And uh, I think in your April reading, I was warning you not to do that, um, but you did. I, I think I remember it. I think I remember it being in your outcome position in April. Uh, so that's perfect position for it. And uh, you you do, you did. And, uh, but not to worry, not to worry, uh, because what you have here in your primary position regarding this situation in this reading is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is, it, it's a messenger card, um, but this is you, this is definitely you, um, bringing forth, uh, change in perspective. And offering, offering uh, your service and and what you have built um, to this to it could be to this person it could be to other people because if you're not in a committed relationship you very well may be uh, coming out of a time of solitude and uh, and deep thought and you may be you know offering. So offering service I mean, you're very able and confident and responsible and that's that's what you have to offer you are very good at building and uh, and maturity and you really you know you really could be wanting to bring something back into your life so if you have recently met somebody or if your relationship has gone through a tough time which I, th I think in April you had a lot going for you in your relationship um, or relationships and uh, you I think you kind of stepped away a little bit and now you're coming back and, and bringing them back into your inner circle and offering and communicating all all that you have and wanting it to work out and the Knight of Cups also speaks to this it, it can very much speak to uh, renewal of, of past relationships um, even more so when it is in a reading for a water sign. Um, but this is, this is a card once again of offering, um, offering and bringing messages 
and uh, since there you have two knights in your primary position and what's crossing you, uh, you are very much um, bringing something back. Uh, you're wanting to, you're probably going to approach them, them. I don't know that they're going to approach you. I feel like you're going to approach them and offer your love to them in some sort of proposal, not necessarily an agreement, but if, if you've gone through, even if it's a long-term bond or a long-term, uh, relationship that you've kind of left and come back and left and come back, um, you are, you're ready to make decisions and you're going to bring forth a message of wanting it to solidify a little bit you're you are going to be making the advances they may too if you are dealing with the water sign and you, you might be but I think this is more of your emotional state regarding the situation okay and what's grounding this is you have been so happy um, you have the world at your fingertips and the thing about you Capricorns is that you know you have the world at your fingertips you had no problem um, making decisions and making the right decisions and you don't fear away or shy away from hard work or uh, you know doing what needs to be done to make something work so even though you may step away a little bit internally um, you're you're still wanting to be present and you're still wanting to make it work and you're going to be proposing that to somebody Because you're really feeling that this might be the relationship for you. And if you're in a long-term bond with somebody, uh, you know, a couple years or a marriage, uh, you don't want them to go anywhere. They're your world. You love them. They love you. And uh, so you may have just gone through some little hiccups, but at the end of the day, you know that they're, you're here to stay and you're going to figure out a way to make it work and you're going to be proposing solutions um, to them and just coming back and saying, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Now, Justice is uh, another major Arcana card, and that's crowning the situation. And this is a very, uh, it's, a, it's definitely a card of uh, legal matters, or more so like, uh, not battles so much, especially in the, I'm not seeing this in this reading as any sort of battles. I'm seeing this more so as you're wanting this to be fair and just and you want to do what's right but you're also not going to make any compromises you're just going to be looking at the situation and the person um it, in the light of let's be fair and let's figure out a way to make this work and if, if it is working and you're not having any problems um, maybe this wasn't something that was going on in your love life. Maybe this was work related or family related. These emo this emotional state that you've been in, um, you know, you're still you're still a very just person, and you're taking that into your relationship and your love life and wanting it to be fair. You're not into playing games, um, right? Right now, you're not wanting to play games. You don't want them to play games. You just want it to be uh, everything, laying everything out on the table and. Uh, having it just be a fair scenario and you're good at that because you have a way of seeing the world in terms of um, like not, not really making uh, light compromises you're willing to compromise but not in a light manner I mean if, if someone has cheated or done something bad you're gonna hold them accountable um, but it also doesn't mean that you're gonna just walk away okay now, in your near future, you're still pulling this through. You're still pulling this energy through May. Um, so you're still needing to work on, and I think this was in your reading too last time, you're still needing to work on bringing your mental state back into a place of peace and harmony. Um, so I think in your, in your mind and in your heart, you're wanting all of this and you're wanting to offer all of this but you're still not 100% there yet. So you're still working something out internally. You're still gonna be present, you're still gonna be communicating, but in your mind, you're still working something out. There still might be a little bit of fear there um, before pulling the trigger and making something really uh, committed. Um, and it could be that maybe they are not ready also. They could be not ready and you're waiting and you're, you're you're just working something out in your mind. Um, even though even though you're proposing 
uh, an offering and stable and there and present, um, you're still not a 100% sure. Now, how they're viewing the situation, this is the Page of Cups, and this is a very studious card, uh, someone that is very full emotionally and very willing to offer uh, service and help. So you're, you're wanting to be there and you're wanting to assist in any way that you can in making this work. And I don't want to use the word rectify because it's not like something's broken and you're trying to fix it. Um, but you are very present and available and kind and... Uh, you're taking a very light approach to it. Even though internally you're going through something, you're keeping it internal and you're you're definitely there and you're present in your relationship. Now this could be, I mean, you really could be dealing with a water sign that's very possible, um, someone that's very kind and and so you're viewing this situation as you looking at them saying, uh, are are you ready? I'm trying to be ready. Are you ready? Yeah, you need to work. You need really need to work on uh, your bat, your internal, uh, your mind. You need to work on your uh, where you stand in this situation because you definitely are really kind of having s there's a blockage there and you're trying because I really think I remember this being in your your reading last month I think you're really trying you just mean need to go a little bit farther um, to find peace in your mind regarding this situation or regarding this person but in your heart you have so much to offer and you want to and you definitely see so much potential there. And you're offering, you want to offer everything that you have. You're just not 100% ready yet. Capricorn, you've got to, um, you have got to not be afraid of commitment and sharing your emotions. I think that's, again, this is what this is about. You cannot be afraid of that. Now, how they're viewing the situation This is how they're viewing you, because this is a uh, this these are earth, this is an Earth sign, and this is their view of it. So this is how they're viewing you, and the Nine of Pentacles is it's a card of reflection and bringing news and messages. Also, um, they are going to be I think they are going to be um, thinking about communicating and talking to you and trying to manage the situation but this is something that you have to work out on your own but they're there and they're present and they want to be and they're they're going to be very mature in how they uh slowly communicate with you and they're going to be take it's not like for example it's not somebody that is so uh hungry for love and attention that they're just going to be picking up any emotional breadcrumbs that you lay down and just thinking it's the greatest thing in the world. They're looking at it for what it is. They know you have a lot to offer them and they're just waiting for you. And they may be kind of trying to coax more emotions out of you um, through communication and through how they communicate with you. Um, but they're also very slow and studious and they're, they're watching you go through this and they're seeing so much potential and uh, they're just waiting here with you and they're doing their thing. It's not like they're uh, up in your business and why aren't they loving me? Oh my gosh. They may very well be a student of you and know that you take time and you need time. And so they could be reflecting on all these wonderful experiences that you have had together and saying, yes, I like this person or I'm in love with this person but I'm not going to communicate that in such a heavy way yet. I'm going to let them come to me. Um, so everything is still good, but you've really got to, you've got to figure out a way to come to terms with your emotions and not be afraid of them. Um, and I don't think, I don't think that you, I think you are. Um, you're really trying 
these cards were in your last reading, I think, and I think they're here again because you are really putting forth a lot of effort in trying to pull those emotions out of you and communicate them in a way that is uh, not scary to you. Now, in your hopes and fears position, you have the Page of Wands, and this is... Uh, you you want um and this is a fire energy but i'm thinking that, that this is in your hopes and fears position and so you are really wanting um you need to be respected for your work you want people to have a very positive and uh a respectful testimony of you and and you do you already do and so but I think you're really afraid of if you open up they're gonna think you're soft or weak and uh, so you're you're really fighting that internal battle of what do I show I I have this image of me they have this image of me and I don't want that to change. But what you're not seeing is that they are, they're seeing right through that anyway and they know what's going on because they're watching you and they're waiting and they're present. And they see a lot of potential. Now if this card was following, if the Page of Cups was following this card, that would be almost a disaster situation because you there would be a, it's like a rivalry type of situation but it it is following the page of cups and they're looking away from each other and uh so you've already built this and you just are really afraid of losing that respect um but but people really respect um when you're 100 percent honest and they'll they'll respect you even more when when they see you going through this and kind of being afraid of your communicating your emotions to them, especially if they are very dear to you. If they're if you are really really falling in love with them and you're really wanting to make this work, um, they they understand that how hard it is for you to communicate to them. And so when and when and if you do, that is just going to deepen and heighten the amount of respect. That they already have for you now in your outcome position Capricorn you have the five of cups this is a person of seeing things that looking at loss and not knowing not looking behind you and seeing what is still there and what's still present there's still there's five cups three have spilled and fallen over but there's still two very full gorgeous beautiful cups right behind you so you've got to look at that so it's a it's a card of loss um but not all loss there's still some things that remain so this could be a card of uh it can be a card of inheritance um it can be a card of marriage but not without some frustration so i think in this reading pertaining to your live life and looking at what has been in the past and what is here um I think this is the outcome and you really are taking this person very seriously or, or really seriously considering deepening the connection on a major way. You're just very afraid of it. You don't want to lose their respect and you don't want to make, make too many changes because you, uh, you don't want to be hurt. Um, but I think this can, can be considered a marriage card in that you are really wanting to deepen and solidify this connection that you have with somebody. Um, and that's that's there and you don't want to lose that and that's the outcome so I think that outcome is meaning that you are going to um, get through this and come to a place where you have decided that you really want to you really trust this person and you want to open up to them do not be afraid of your emotions even when you show them uh, you're not like a blubbery emotional mess about it um, so even if you just say the words I love you or you mean so much to me 
um, you do so in a way that is very respectful and they hear they hear it especially if they've been waiting and watching and wanting that from you when you do it means so much to them there's a lot here and there's a lot to offer and you are really wanting to I know you're methodical and you're calculating, but I, I hope these cards, Capricorns, don't show back up in your June readings because you, you have got to move forward with this person or work on uh, fixing the situation with somebody that you love because um, and if, and if, you're, if you're single and you're really considering bringing somebody back into your life, um, you need to... Uh, be very clear about your intentions and, in, and clear about how important they are to you and that you really want to try to make something work. Um, because if this is a situation where there's a past and a history and there's judgments made about each other, you've got to be very clear in your communication. This isn't a matter of just going on some dates and kind of trying to rekindle stuff. I mean, you need to say, I want to try to make this work with you. I'm sorry about everything that happened in the past. Uh, but I, you're important to me and I want to see if we can make this work and you need to take it from a standpoint of that. Not trying to just restart everything brand new, fresh from the beginning. And you see that and you're good at that. So I'm not worried about that being the case. Let's look at your oracle cards. Spirit and Universe, what are any additional messages and outcome or advice that you could offer Capricorn in May regarding their love life? What are some additional messages or advice that you could offer Capricorns in May? Regarding their love life. Okay. I'm gonna go with this one because it was just jumping. Luthus of the Wild. Let's see what that says. Luthus of the Wild. Haste, impulsiveness, fire, spontaneity, and balance. This card says that wild creative energies are being brought to whatever position it represents in the card layout. It often fires up the things that surround it, represented by other cards, energizing them as well. It tells us that it is important to think and act creatively, and it says that the energy to do so is available. New approaches are called for here. Old ideas and old behaviors will not do. Sometimes it may be useful to draw another card to get some other suggestions. Alternatively, Luthus may be telling you to go for something now. Well... Sometimes it is important to take the risk of making a fool of yourself to gain something amazing and wonderful and miraculous. Sometimes when Luthus says, go for it now, it is important to do so, and sometimes it isn't. If the only reason for caution is that you're afraid of looking silly, it, may prob it probably is time to go for it. Remember, then, that you need to keep an eye on Luthus. Don't let him have control over your schedule or, your accel or the accelerator of your car. He always is thinking of going faster and taking chances, and he thinks that that is better, and sometimes he is even right. Use sense and stay grounded, like you do, Capricorn, I know you do, even while he takes you off on a flight of fancy. You just need to go for it. Get out of this. Get out of this. Get out of this. Don't be afraid of looking like a fool. 
don't be afraid of losing something because there's a lot here. There's a lot here. And you see it and so do they. All right, Capricorn, please like, sh like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm having so much fun doing this. I really appreciate all of your comments and support. And uh, it, this has just been a very fun journey for me to do these and put these general uh, love readings out there because I, uh, I really, I just really enjoy it. And I'm, I'm thankful that I can offer this to you.